Hello and welcome to the section of the Trig and Precalculus Tutor. Uh, in this section what we're going to do is continue with the law of cosines, specifically working with some word problems where you'll have to read the problem, figure out what to do, and apply it to solve for whatever it is you're being asked. So this is the kind of stuff you'll definitely see on exams uh, and on standardized tests too, such as the SAT and the GRE and other exams like that. So. Our first problem uh, is something you have to kind of read. All of these problems you have to read, think about, and draw a picture for every one of them. First problem says, the angle at one corner of a triangular plot of land is 73 degrees 40 minutes. The sides that meet at this corner are 175 meters long and 150 meters long. What is the length of the third side? So you have a triangular piece of land you're given the angle between them, and you're given the lengths of the two sides of where the where the two of the three sides are, and you're being asked what is the length of the third side of that guy. Now we don't have 90 degrees anywhere in here, so you can't just use the Pythagorean theorem. You'll need to use the law of cosines. So what we need to do is translate what we're reading into a picture. That there's no way to do these problems without writing a picture down. I mean, I really, really encourage it. So, in fact, I do it all myself. I mean, I don't just tell you this. I do it all myself when I, when I write these problems down and when I do them. So, uh, what we need to do is we, we have a triangular piece of land, and it's going to roughly look something, you know, like this, you know, roughly. And we're given two pieces of, of information, and the third side is kind of unknown. So I'm going to put a dot, dot, dot there, and I'll label that side C. That's what we're trying to solve for. All right? Now what I'm given here is this is 150 meters and this is 175 meters. Now this angle is a little weird because it's given to us as 73 degrees, 40 minutes of arc. And we talked about that a little bit before. When you see minutes of arc, it just it's giving you a fraction of a degree. There are 60 minutes of arc in every degree. So before we do anything else at all, we need to convert this angle into a decimal so we can actually work with it. So 73 degrees 40 minutes is equal to 73 plus, see this represents a fraction of a degree. What fraction? 40 over 60 because there are 60 minutes in a degree. So by, by knowing that we have 40 minutes here, 40 over 60 gives us that fraction. So this is 73.67 degrees. All right, 73.67 degrees. And notice that we cannot use the law of sines for this problem because we don't have enough information. I mean, we know this guy and we know this guy, but we don't know, so we have an unknown here, we have a known here, but, and we know these sides, but we don't know any opposite angles and we can't do subtraction to find the angle. So if you try to write law of sines down, you're gonna find out quickly that you don't have enough information to do it. So let's try law of cosines. C squared, should be a squared plus b squared minus 2 times a times b times cosine of whatever angle lies between a and b. And notice a and b are given here, and I know the angle between a and b. So this should be, you know, nice and, nice and easy. So c squared is equal to a squared, so call it 175 squared plus 150, because that's what b is squared, minus 2 times a times b, uh, times the cosine of the angle between them, and I calculated what this is, 73.67, right? So I can calculate that cosine. So what I'm going to have is c squared 